Welcome to the Stanford Lee Show. This episode, Country with a Vengeance. Every time I go to Nashville, I have a great time. I really enjoy the city and uh, it continues to grow and it's changed a lot over the years. And uh, I think in many good ways it has. I, I really have a great time there. Sometimes I'm uh, traveling from Atlanta to Chicago and it's just one of those places to stop along the way and it's really special to me because of uh, all the history and music there. And it has changed over the years and it's, uh, it's interesting because I remember uh, the millennium, I remember somewhere around 2010. I don't know, there was some sweet spot where it was just really cool because the downtown was uh, maybe not commercially thriving, I guess, but uh, as far as country music, it was really great. It was, uh, I guess, a little, little less commercial, as they say, because uh, it was, uh, people were there because they, uh, they wanted to be there for the music. It wasn't so much a, a big uh, tourist draw, in my opinion. It, um, the streets were less crowded, and when you'd walk down uh, Music Row, you'd, uh, you could, uh, like, uh, on any corner, hear a steel guitar playing, uh, some band picking, and it was, it was traditional. It was like, one of my favorite clubs to go to there was Roberts, and um, I don't think that that club has changed a lot. The rest of the strip has, to a certain extent, but, uh, there was always good music there, uh, traditional stuff, uh, rockabilly, uh, honky-tonk, um, really good pickers there. And they had like uh, some of the best talent that uh, you know were obviously building their, their career in Nashville. They had uh, uh, skills, sophistication, and a real understanding of the music. You could just you know tell by listening to them. I really, I really learned a lot and enjoyed that time just uh, passing through each time I'd uh, go there. And um, when did it change? I think it was, uh, I think it was maybe uh, sometime um, after 2010. I don't know when. You know, we look at uh, where we are now. It's like uh, every city, everything's kind of different, but uh, Nashville especially. So I think that. Uh, uh, for me, like the last time I went to Nashville, it was like being in LA. I mean, it was, it was really more like LA. You could, uh, there was a lot of people and, uh, I don't know. It just didn't feel the same. So it was, uh, it was a bit bizarre. It was funny. I, you know, I was like, uh, the only guy there, uh, walking down music row with this big freaking cowboy hat and, uh, boots on and carrying this white guitar that I had, uh, purchased, uh, really nice Gretsch guitar, you know, and walking around like a yokel and, uh, <laughs> you know, people looking at me because in Nashville, that's almost strange now because it's so, it's so different. And uh, walking by the clubs, it's like, uh, you know, really, uh, really loud music and, uh, you know, stuff that's more like you would hear today. I don't know, you know, things change. Uh, things change in, uh, you know, many times in, uh, you know, better ways as well. But, uh, uh, come on guys. I mean, it's like uh, This is just like the you know the collapse of civilization here now uh, what I'm talking about is these uh, oh No, you just got to see it to believe it. I'm kind of <laughs> oh, Okay, so like uh, the last time I was in Nashville, it's like uh, pedal bars Have you ever seen a pedal bar? Okay now now, you know what I'm talking about. I mean uh, I'm going to I'm going to get my butt my butt on one of those chairs and uh, you know pedal my little heart out and get drunk one of these days but I don't know it just feels like the collapse of civilization to me it just doesn't feel like Nashville a bunch of uh, uh, you know sorority or frat kids uh, pedaling down music row it's kind of like uh, I don't know what you'd hear in one of these songs like uh, I don't know, like a place just, uh, you know, kind of losing its soul or something. <laughs> For me, I don't, I don't know. But, uh, oh, the other thing is like, uh, go to that club, Nudies. Uh, 
I, you know, you look at the brand and uh, think of like, uh, what are those Western suits? They call them nudie suits, right? So uh, uh, you go there, it's not uh, the country Western experience. <laughs> I mean, it's just this, uh, you know, big loud pumping club and, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff going on. So uh, I enjoy Jason Aldean's restaurant. There's a few other uh, places I need to get to there. I mean, everybody has a restaurant in the row there, but uh, uh, Jason Aldean's place with the tractor bar and the stage. I, I, I liked it. It was, uh, it was fun. Uh, so what are your experiences in Nashville? Do you, do you think it's changed a lot over the years? Has it uh, become something different or, you know, has it become different in a good or a bad way? I'd like to hear. Yeah, I'm doing some musicology. I wanted to share a little bit about, uh, you know, my thoughts about uh, playing the, the keyboard on this because it's such a simple part, but um, a lot of these uh, parts, it's just good to, uh, you know, hear them in, uh, you know, like actually score it out and listen to it and, you know, kind of know what's going on. So that's what I did with this piece. And then after I did that, I took it into the studio and did some things. And I'm just building some tracks up, you know, getting uh, some things in the machine and uh, starting to play with it a little bit. But I wanted to, you know, play the steel guitar part today. And it's just a little fill, but uh, it gives the whole thing that, uh, you know, that feel of something far away and uh, something very Nashville-like. Uh, and I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of joking around with the title and, uh, you know, as I'm writing the lyrics and uh, calling this song Cashville. So, uh, Let's, uh, let's top it off tonight and uh, hear a little bit of music, all right. stuff I'm telling you you got to go check it out love the social media like and subscribe and do all those things and I I really appreciate it everyone well thanks everybody for joining me I know I had a great time and I'll see you next time on the Stanford Lee show